Oh, I'm back at the Varaha temple to clear up a few things as there was a discussion with somebody. Um, I'm going to clear those things up now. And uh, I just want to say that without sounding arrogant, I've spent five years now doing this, writing this book, which is still not completed. And this temple is the central, um, not just this temple, but this temple is, is a very important part of the book. So I've uh, probably studied this temple more than uh, most scholars on the subject. Um, again, I don't want to sound arrogant, but uh, unless you've been here and seen it for yourself and done the research, um, I hope that what I'm going to say is accepted as fact. Um, so above the emblem there, there is a block which has no carvings on it at all. It is just roughly chipped. Okay. The Vijayanagara never built smooth blocks anywhere, except around the royal enclosure, which is a couple of kilometers from here. Um, all of these temples are built in the same way. You can see the chisel marks on these blocks. Actually, they've become more difficult to see the closer I get to them. You should be able to see vertical chisel marks on the top of this block and this one here even has them horizontally so they weren't concerned with the uniformity of, the, of that um, they just made sure that these blocks fitted together and built these temples at a very rapid rate actually uh, the Atiyu Taraya temple at the top of Sulai Bazaar just west of here, south of here sorry um, was built in a single year and it's absolutely huge it's about six, seven times bigger than this one. So there are no carvings on that block above the emblem. Okay. And there, the dagger is not connecting to this, to what the boar is standing on. The little uh, base that the boar is standing on ends at the front of his feet. There is a kind of dark line that goes forward from there, but that is just a mark on the stone. It's not been carved into it at all. Oh gosh, there's a very large group of people coming now, which is going to ruin this, but I'll do as much as I can before they get here. In fact, I might hide before they get here because I'm not in the mood for photos or... Anyway, um... So... The boar is Varaha. And the crescent moon shape above his nose is, represents Budevi, who is the mother earth goddess. And Budevi was taken by the demon Hariyanksha, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, and uh, put her under the primordial waters. And Varaha rescued her from there and lifted her up with his tusks, hence why the crescent moon shape is above the boar's nose. Okay, I'm gonna to have to continue this video in a minute.